Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video, so please bear with the poor quality and the a lot of outside noise. I'm very close to the road here. I absolutely love pole work. It's something I use a lot of with my own horses as well as clients when I'm teaching. This is a really simple exercise. Um, there's a canter stride between each of the poles and you tend to go down the grid and then you turn and come across the center line and then turn back again across the center line. And it means that you're really working on your horse's rhythm, their balance, their suppleness, making sure you're straight through the poles and just really making sure you ride your turns properly and you don't let them drift. My arena is very small, it's a 30 by 30. So you can make this exercise better by making it wider and longer. Um, I've had to slightly cram it in here. So here you can see this is my 20 year old ex eventer now dressage horse. I do a lot of pole work with him because he doesn't like to do too much dressage training or drilling, He it just doesn't suit him. So I keep him sweet by doing a lot of pole work. Um, and also he really needs to work on his suppleness. That's his weak part of him. Um, and so this exercise suits him really well. Here, I'm just giving him a nice chilled walk around long rain. He's been in the night before, so he's gonna need warming up. Now I've collected him up in the walk a little bit and I start walking over the poles. Walking over poles is so beneficial for horses. In fact, it's more beneficial than any of the other paces because when they're in walk, they have to use pure muscle effort. Whereas if they're trotting, they sort of use the spring to trot over the poles and it's not quite so, it's not so hard for them. So again, I spend a lot of time in walking over poles. Um, and But this stage, I'm probably towards 10 to 12 minutes of walking. And now I've picked up the trot. So in the trot, I'm just giving him a really good stretch. I will always stretch him before any dressage session or if I'm at a show. It's really good to get him stretching over that back, clearing the airway, helping keep him loose and free. He's pretty good at it as well. Making sure that I'm doing lots of changing the rein, starting to put a little bit more bend in, working towards that suppleness. And now you see, I'm still keeping him in quite a low frame and I'm gonna start working through the poles again. Now the good thing is with these poles is that if you want to make them a little bit harder, you could just raise them a little bit. I'm just trying to keep a really nice balance, hoping that the rhythm doesn't change too much, that he's working through from behind well enough. I'd probably actually like him a little bit more over his back. And now I've just slightly shortened him up in the trot, not massively, but just a little bit more together. Asking him to just come up in front. Again, you can just see where he's a little bit tight through his neck and lacking that suppleness. And now we've picked up the canter. Now you'll see through this first exercise that um, we have a small mistake. He tends to be a little bit cheeky in canter. He gets a little bit strong um, and mouth comes open. So it will take him a little while to settle. And you can see here, we don't get a change. It's not the end of the world. You just come back, do a transition, pick up canter again. It's just as beneficial. And here we go through it again. And you can see he comes out over the right canter lead. However, you can just see he's being a little bit rude. His tail's, you know, he's swishing his tail a little bit. He's got his head a bit high. So when I come round again, I'm trying to make sure that he's more in front of my leg, a little bit rounder through the neck. And staying in front of my leg through those turns. And as you can see, he's landing on the right leg much better now. And to finish off, I just give him a really good stretch. Sometimes I stretch him back in trot again and then the walk. But as I said, this is just a really nice, easy exercise. I've obviously compacted it from what would have been a 35 minute session into five minutes. So you can really take your time in between the paces and working towards that lovely outline or getting the flexibility you want through your horse. Um, hopefully I will put up another video with me using this exercise, but then with jumps. 
Um, but have a play around. You can really mix it up and make it harder or easier to suit your horse's ability.